Okay guys, I'm doing this video again. Um, I want to try to summarize everything that I said and, and not ramble on too much. Um, you know, I, I, I chose to be homeless, but also I think that the, the situations that continue to pile up and pile up and all the things that are kind of happening to me, um, that I have to take full responsibility for. I know I'm taking, I'm, I'm a man. I have to take responsibility for it, but I feel like the things that have continued to, to fall on to me have led me to having no choice, but to be homeless. So here I am homeless. I'm in Silicon Valley. I'm in the heart of Silicon, California, Silicon Valley in Santa Clara County. And, um, I'm living, uh, in my car and I am homeless. I feel as though, um, majority of the homeless people out here are there's some type of schizophrenia drug addiction drug abuse um maybe childhood abuse mental abuse um and some other uh other other issues that are might, might go on but for the majority of homeless people i think that's where that stems from why they're homeless um and you have a good handful of people that are like tech employees that are doing really well that decided to live out of their car and are just saving up for a house. But that's a small amount, a ha small handful. Um, I'll go and park behind a gym, one of the gyms randomly. And because I, I can, that way I can go to the bathroom or go shower when need be. And at the beginning of the night, I'll see at least four or five cars that I regularly see on a regular basis, the guys I even see outside of their car, and I, I even see them inside the gym going to the bathroom and showering, and they're regulars and they live there, just like me, living out of my car. We are homeless. And then I'll wake up in the morning and you see 20 to 25 cars parked out in the back, and they're not going to the gym to work out. They're just overnight, Maybe you've gotten off late from work or just pulled up at this new gym or something on average 20 to 25 cars in the morning that are parked in the back with us regulars that are also homeless. And half of them are younger than me. I'm 44 years old and younger than me. And maybe there's some, maybe half of those youngsters are students. We don't know the situ full situation, but going into this new world now that I've gone into, I, I've been successful. I've had an inc incredible business. I had a marriage, a, a beautiful home and family. Um, my downside is my depression. I'm depressed from missing my daughter. I've vo vocalized it before on this channel. I'm not ashamed to say it. Um, if you take someone, take your child away from you, you will have some sort of depression. You will experience depression. It is depressing. When they ripped your child away from you, especially if you have been glued to the hip by your child with your child um, for most of their their living days on earth, it um, it does it changes you as a person. So, with that said, I'm now experiencing going from what I the world that I lived in to now into homelessness, and it's fucking sad, dude. It's sad as hell. I'm so sorry that half this channel is not all fucking sweet, lovey dovey, and, and and beautiful roses and 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 jokes and and being funny. But this is my life, and this is sad. And I I'm I feel so bad for some of these homeless people. They're schizophrenics. They're they're lost in their mind and their thoughts. And here's the twist. Just before I let you go, many of these homeless people that have issues, mental issues and drug addictions and, and things of that nature and kind of a, a, a plethora of different issues all in one, right? Drug addiction, abuse, alcohol, um, mental um, schizophrenia, all in one. It's all so much to deal with. It's hard to pinpoint and it's probably hard to cure because it's just hard to pinpoint. There's so much in one person at times that they're lost in their thoughts 
they're lost in their thoughts. And for myself, I can see myself getting lost in my thoughts, having too much time on my hands sitting in this in this car and being um, depressed, right? But then there's also, if you really, really look at it, we look at manifesting, if we look at deep thinking, we look at, you know, positive thoughts and how to tap into our subconsciousness. For people that have a pretty decent level head or have some sort of sense of mental stability that go into this type of lifestyle or go into some type of depression, if they can grasp a hold and train and then literally train themselves at moments that they slip into their lost thoughts of pain, of thoughts of pain and thoughts of the negative that happened, the thoughts of the past that brought them to that place of hurting, if they can train those to switch those thoughts, change it, trans, transition it into beautiful future that you may have, beautiful thoughts that you may have, uh, a, a strength, that inner strength that you have, an, an inner an inner strength in your mind, in your, in your muscle, in your body, an inner strength of your, your off, your, the strife to just want to pursue, get up in the morning and, you know, fight through this physical pain and get up in the morning and, and, and go to work and, and be the best that you can be. If we can just, if you can tap into these people, some have even some sense of stability and just tap into their mind. And if you're watching this right now and you slip and you're living in a, in a, a place and you have a place to live and you, and you're not homeless and you're, you're having some sorts of small bouts of depression from missing your children. And that's how many of you found my channel. Train these thoughts, train your thoughts to get out of this dark, those dark places, get out of those, that dark past that led you to where you're at, to hurting. We, I don't want you to be hurting about the past anymore. You have a future and the future is beautiful and bright. You have a strong, amazing body. You're a man. There's nothing greater than man on earth, you know, and there's nothing more beautiful than women on earth. And I, I want you guys to transition and change and shift that, shift that pain of thoughts of that that brought you from that that you're thinking in the past. I'm sorry I'm fumbling my words. I want this so bad for you guys. It's it's all in the mind. I can be sitting here. I'm homeless and I'm sitting here in my car. This is where I live. And look. Look guys. Look, I want to show you something. Have you watched Look, my clothes are hanging right over here. Okay, I have socks and underwears in the bin here. And then I have my bed right down here, the pillows off to the side on the chair. My bed's right down here. I move my thing in here. It has some snacks and like my vitamins. And I'm sitting here in my car. I'm homeless. It does not mean that I cannot Think of my future being amazing, wealthy, fixing my financial debt, fixing my taxes from the business that I lost, that got taxed so hard on, and I still owe. It does not mean I cannot think about living in an apartment or living in a, in a home possibly or, or doing things that will get myself out of amazing things, huge shifts that will get myself out of the situation. I have to think like that every day. And whether it's lost hope, Rocky, it's lost hope. No, it's not lost hope. It's not lost hope. Because if I train my thoughts to be that way every single day of my fucking life, every single moment, and I strengthen my mind to be stronger and stronger every day, no matter how hard I fall down. And this, I say this to you too, for you, if I continuously train myself, every step I take, every move I make, every breath I take, and everywhere I go and every corner I turn, 
will be trained to think greater and more successful and more powerful and more positive and more inspiring of, of my life and every step I do and everything I do. And at some point, I'm going to be making the right turns, the right steps, the right words, and putting myself in the right place. It's got to work. It's going to work. You have to, you have to believe me, guys. You have to believe me. This, I, I, put, my, I put myself at the bottom and I speak these words to you that you have to think yourself out of the, the dark space that, you, that, that puts you there. You have to think yourself out of the depression. You have to think of your children in your arms. You have to think of your children in your possession, in your arms, in, in your loving them, kissing them, and them telling you, I love you, daddy. I love you, mommy. I love you. And being there for them. You have to think these thoughts. You have to see them as good as you can see me. Is it kind of fuzzy that you see me? Is it kind of fuzzy that you see that vision of your children? See it more clearly. Close your eyes. Think of those moments. Think of it. It's happening. It's happening. It's reality. You're touching them. You're holding them. You're embracing them. You're more financially stable. You're stronger and you're smarter and you're wiser than ever before. You didn't think you would be in this position and look at you are. And there they are with you and you're on vacation with them and they kiss you and they're holding your hands and they love you and they're older now maybe and then they're, they reach out to you and they're, and they're embracing you and, and you look at them and you say, wow, and for that glimpse of a moment, you remember that video that you watched on YouTube of Rocky saying this and you say to them, I knew you'd be back. And they'll say, you did? You did, Dad? Yes, because I actually imagined it for a quick second. And your imagination will tap into your subconsciousness. And your subconsciousness actually becomes the, uh, uh, into the forefront of your reality because you feel it. You smell them. You touch it. You, you sense it. And you're touching money. And you're sensing your children. You're hugging them. And you're in a good lifestyle and a good car and all these things are happening that are wonderful. You're feeling it. You're imagining it. And it happens. I don't care if you guys laugh at me. I don't care what you guys think of me. Maybe I'm losing it in here. But maybe, just maybe, I'm not. I love you guys. Stay strong. Talk to you later.